folks, back in 84, we started dealing with post-traumatic stress and brain injuries, and that whole program has evolved. And what I found out from sitting down with some of the best neurologists in the country that actually came and, and gave me great information, what I learned was that every, neuro neurology, every neurology center um, is, is, is trying to protect their own turf. Okay, every neurology center develops treatment protocols that, that really don't look at multiple systems of the body. So what I've developed, whether it's PTSD, concussion, or brain injury, I developed something with my team and, and my research lab that looks at multiple systems of the body and how stress compromises the body. So let's, let's break it down. IGF-1 is important for every cell in the body to grow our nutrition levels. IGF-1 is also very important to enhance neurogenesis or the development of brain tissue. So any physical, mental, or emotional stress can compromise IGF-1. So when pharmaceutical companies are looking for the next billion dollar pill, we know that's really a stretch because you've got to treat multiple metabolic systems in a patient's body. And we also know that one brain injury, for instance, is not the same as the next brain injury, that if everybody's biochemically unique, they've got to have different treatment protocols. Well, obviously, there's no money in customizing treatment protocols because in our medical system, is run by you know, the return on investment. If they spend time treating each person individually, it would take too much time. But this is what, this is what we developed uh, for Lewis Amabile, uh, one of our brain injury clients over four years. And, and here's what happened. The initial trauma that Lewis had elevated uh, cortisol levels. And cortisol damages multiple tissues of the body, inc including brain tissue. So when Lewis had his, had his uh, you know, traumatic brain injury, his, his accident on his motorcycle, multiple systems of his body was starting to shut down. And what we found out is his neurologists weren't, weren't really looking at uh, these areas. So as we break this down, physiologically, we don't just treat the head. We look at multiple systems of the body in order to rehab uh, the brain. And what we did with Lewis is we're generalizing to other brain injury and, and stroke patients. So again, elevated cortisol levels shuts everything off like a clock. Um, growth hormone, nutrition, the proper thyroid hormone will elevate IGF-1 and speed the rehab of a person that has a stroke, brain injury, or, 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 or concussion. By looking at these multiple metabolic systems of the body, we can enhance neurogenesis, synaptogenesis. We can enhance recovery. Also think about if the patient's laying there in bed and they're trying to recover from a, a, an incident or they're, or they're paralyzed, they're gonna be under stress and, and they're gonna be scared. They could also elevate cortisol levels and, and could slow the, slow the development or slow the uh, production of new brain tissue. So people that are recovering from a major injury can also cause damage to their brain because they're, they're so stressed and scared. That's why it's good to have family members around. It's good to um, constantly keep these people in, 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 uh, in the game interactions. Uh, is th there's a lot of new treatment protocols that are out there that are available that a lot of folks don't hear about. So this is why, why we're here today. Growth hormone is very important to speed the development of new brain tissue. Um, the, the movie Concussion just came out and, and the same performance enhancing drugs that are outlawed in football are gonna be the drugs needed to enhance somebody's brain chemistry to help develop new brain tissue. Testosterone and growth hormone are outlawed but in order to support neurogenesis and to support, support depression or get people off of chemical de dependencies, we're gonna need these, these hormones to be introduced in the body. So we develop blood testing, we develop supplementation at our pharmacy, all to focus on this area. Folks, we want you to get educated. Check out the Russ Scala YouTube channel. Check out what we've developed there to educate yourself. And then Scala Precision Health is also available to get in contact with us.